What's up YouTube, Fleshbox in the house, doing a little bit of enchanting here on my nifty diamond sword. But, uh, you know, as we can see, the level's kind of low. We gotta get up to level 30. So let's go ahead and get back here and let's get there. Alright, yeah, I'll just, let's, yeah, that's level 20. That's, that's good, but not great. Let's go ahead and, there we go. There we go, 30. Oh. I was robbed. I was robbed. Oh, man. Alright, so, as you can see here, we've got the, uh... Level adjustable 1.3 ready enchanting room here. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of work on it. Uh, some people saw it in my response video to Doc M on his microphone. So, uh, at uh, some requests to... Uh, do a tutorial on it. So I've been kind of working on it. My plans on it were not quite done. So I had a little bit of work to do on it, compacting it down a little bit. And then I found out that I had some uh, issues getting it to work in all four directions. But we got that going on. I uh, just wanted to point out here, this is kind of what it's based around. Is And I, I, I feel like a dick because uh, I don't remember who came up with this idea originally. But it's based on the uh, upside down half slab glowstone and uh, as you can see here upside down stairs uh, create a um, and this is a bug I'm, I'm assuming and it'd probably be fixed at some point I would imagine so I'm not counting on this working forever but you can apply a power source to these turn that power source off and it stays on phantom power except it doesn't seem to work in this direction when you're facing F3. And as we can see over here, same thing with uh, upside down stairs. And I don't have glowstone set up over here, but it does the same thing there. Um, and it, these are kind of weird in that there's a way to fix it. There's some sandstone and some redstone. In these two circumstances, you can get it to work by adding that, which kind of just turns it, that into one of these. And it, in the case of this one here, you actually got to put it there to make it work. And once that's there, it kind of works, but if you put it here, it doesn't work. So, I one of those bug thingies, uh, whoever found this might know more than I do, but this is just what I've come up with playing around with it. Um, so here we go. This is the basic setup. Everything except for the, like, the bookshelves and the floor and the enchanting table right here. And as you can see... It works in all four directions. It took quite a little bit to get it to work in all four directions. I had to come up with the design basically that worked in the two bad directions that it was not working on and make sure that that design worked in the other two directions. Uh, originally it was zero and two worked fine, or zero and two rather, worked fine, and one and three didn't. And then I uh, made some changes down there and that got it so it was working on one and three but not on zero and two. So I uh, probably spent uh, way too much time up last night working on this, but we got it working in all four directions now. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. The delay on the retraction is just a little bit longer than I'd wanted, but it's kind of unavoidable. Um, as far as doing a tutorial for it, I figured I'd go ahead and do an Asuma style tutorial here with the layers because Let's face it, these are some of the best uh, tutorials there are. And you'll have to forgive the glitches. I think that's caused by world editing the, this uh, this world. So we'll go ahead and start out. We're going to need the... You don't have to have a base for it like this. I just put down the glowstone to show the overall footprint. And that's going to be a 7 by 9 area. You'll probably want to go ahead and... If you're going to put it underground, make sure that you have a hole that's 7 by 9 and the floor is one, 
two, three, three or four down, so that'd be nine or ten deep. Um, if you make it ten deep, you should be safe. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start out. We'll put down these four blocks and these two blocks here. Moving on up to the next level. We're going to basically fill in these little patterns here. And you don't have to use separate colors. I like to use separate colors to uh, just indicate the different circuits. So the main thing we're doing is we're adding these little four two by two pads for each circuit. This little L shape for these two circuits here. And then adding this here. And we're going to add a repeater here with a full delay. A repeater here and a repeater here, both of those on default delay. On the next level, we're going to add two blocks here for this circuit, two blocks here for this circuit, and two blocks here for this circuit. And for these two, we want to add these blocks coming up the side, lay down our redstone, and our repeaters, this repeater, this repeater, and this repeater, all on uh, default delay. And the reason it's, I brought it back like this, this is actually why it works in all four directions, is this little, kind of little, slow wing sticking out right here. That's what keeps it working in all four directions. And we want to put uh, redstone torch on the backside of each one here with our glowstone right there. On the next level, we're going to drop a couple redstone torches on top of these two blocks. We're going to put down our redstone on top of the glowstone and the two blocks we just put down for each latch here. And then a uh, block on top of this one, this redstone here, and that is to keep it from shorting across right here and shorting across right there. So essentially what we have here is the circuit itself. Um, as power comes in, we're going to reset this redstone here with the redstone lamps we're gonna place later. And we're gonna do that sequentially starting at this side, which enables this one to be reset and then this one to be reset after that in a sequential order. When this one resets, it powers this line which comes back up and sets them all back to the on state. So our next level up, I'm gonna go ahead and put our redstone lamps up here on top of that redstone on each of the glowstone. We need a block next to each uh, redstone lamp to power it. And then we're gonna need this line here with this L, reverse L, and then two more blocks right here. These are gonna be the uh, circuits that we actually take up to the uh, pistons. On top of that, we wanna go ahead and drop some redstone on here, on these three blocks, and then some redstone with a repeater here so that it doesn't short. We want to go ahead and add these two blocks here between with a redstone torch on each one. Our torch is here to power our repeaters. This one on a one, uh, two tick delay, one click. This one on a full delay. And then on the next level, we want to go ahead and place that block there on the end. We're going to go ahead and place this row of blocks with torches. Spaced out, torch, two blocks, torch. And you'll see these torches are just above that redstone powering it. And then this block here, which goes right on top of that redstone torch. And of course this redstone right there. On the next layer, we're going to drop on these two redstone torches. 
this block here. Redstone. And then we want to fill in these two pads right here. That's three pads, or three blocks, and then five blocks. And it mirrors on the other side. Three blocks, five blocks. The next level up, we want to go ahead and place down some of this, or place down this redstone dust. These repeaters, all on default delay, and these blocks. And again, that is mirrored on this side. Redstone dust, three repeaters on default delay, and three blocks. And then we need these pads here. It's two blocks three blocks with a redstone torch and then the mirror image on this side two blocks three blocks and a redstone torch up on the next layer we can go ahead and put our redstone here our redstone here our repeaters here each repeater on a two tick delay we want two blocks right here with a redstone torch in the middle and then two blocks on either side with the repeaters firing into them. Around on this side we want to place three torches on either side and then three sticky pistons facing up on the side of each redstone torch. On the next level, we'll go ahead and put some redstone on top of this with a block on either side to prevent it from shorting on these wires. Redstone torches on each of these blocks. On the next level, we're going to place this row of blocks here, and this block is where the button faces on the other side, so you'll probably want to make it something pretty, with redstone torches on the back of each one. And the last level are four more sticky pistons facing this direction on top of each of those four redstone torches. So once you get done with this last lever, layer, lever, lever, then all you got to do is come in here and set up your bookshelves. You'll want to put one bookshelf or two bookshelves on this side next to the button, two bookshelves on this ne side next to the button, and then one above them. What this does for you is it sets your default enchantment level to be up to 10 and sometimes it'll go over 10, like 13, but usually it's always going to be at least 10 for your highest level enchant. So you should be able to get a pretty good range between uh, between level 1 and 10. Uh, level 2, you can get a level 1 I've seen, or maybe you can only get a level 2. I haven't, I have to look at the wiki for that one. But you're at least going to get a level 2 through 10 here. And then the way that the enchanting works, the way that the enchanting table works is for every bookshelf past the initial five, it's going to increase your total enchantment level by two. So we can actually see if we just come down here and manually put in the bookshelves like that. Now our minimum level is 12. We add one more. Minimum level is 14, or maximum level is 14, rather. So the way I designed this is centered around having five bookshelves always on, and then two sets of five bookshelves that are adjustable. So you've got 10, 20 with the first set, and 30 with the next set much better so there it is and go ahead 
and uh, let me know if uh, this works out for you. Let me know if you liked it. And if you have any issues with it, I can take a look and see uh, what's going on. But like I said, this is based on what is what I'm considering to be a bug in the game, so I don't expect it to stick around forever, unfortunately. But who knows? Some things might. Um, but uh, as long as we've got this set up with the little wing there, it should it should work for you in just about any situation. Um, I've got a schematic file for this if you want to use that. Um, although I will say that uh, I I was uh, pretty reluctant to use the schematics for it because uh, using the current uh, MC edit seemed to cause some odd issues for my world here. Uh, maybe a world edit. I, think that can use uh, schematics might do a little bit better but uh, I can uh, put that up if you guys want uh, just let me know in the comments below uh, but that's it I hope you enjoy it and I hope you uh, get some good use out of it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like what you see